Richie, congratulations. What an afternoon it's been. Is that the biggest result of your career to date? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it obviously beat Michael, get to see the cause now. Uh, major, yeah, that's, that's better than I ever expected. What was the feeling like when that winning double goes in? Just relief, because I was like 4 1 down, I've just dragged it back and 9 all, I'm like, just, just one good leg, and thankfully it happened. First court final on TV, a real milestone for yourself, and it just shows the hard work that you put in is, is now paying off. What does that feel like to get to? The last day for the TV tournament for the first time. I'm literally bu buzzing. I can't put it to words. I am absolutely buzzing. When you're four one down, what's going through your mind? Because Michael Smith can be a hard customer to try and chase. I just thought, worst case, win it the next session three two. You got to be a little bit closer and just sort of dig in deep. But obviously four all. But is it four yeah four all five all. Five all. Yeah, so it's five, five all. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just uh, done better than I expected. To be fair, but. Where's your career headed? Because we've seen you flirt with your tour card as we spoke about before, but now it seems to be going on this one-way trajectory. Where do you believe you, you can get to? I think the sky's the limit. If I've put the hours in which I've started to do, I mean, like I, say, well, I said yesterday, I've got good practice partners and on and off of the tour or whatever. I just feel, yeah, it's me who's got it in my hands. I could go as high as I want or as low as I want. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, I think the key is just practice, and that's what I'm doing better now. So. This is the first time you've kind of taken your darting career as serious as you perhaps should have earlier on in the year. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so I was always a lazy, lazy practicer, lazy just, just turn up and might have an hour or so and just, just throw and see what happens. But now I'll get to the venues now, four and a half, five hours before, just steady practice. So, yeah, just try and put the hours in. Richie, congratulations. Thank you very much. Richie, at the end, it seemed like what the, the could have been a big moment. Eight all, you had one ten to break Michael Smith and you missed the big eight scene. What was going through your mind when you missed that and how did you recompose to then win the next leg after that? I can't swear, can I? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, it, yeah, damn. <laughs> It'd be the word, but no, uh, yeah, it's just a big moment. Big 18. I was, trying to, I was worried about the 54, but that's the way I go, so that's what I normally do, but big four, I was like... <laughs> don't, want to, don't want to say, but yeah. And then, literally got through it, so over days it didn't hurt me too much, obviously that leg did, but... How much did you find out about yourself in this match? Because obviously it was a huge match getting to a quarter-final, but against somebody like Michael Smith as well, who was putting you under so much pressure all of the way, but you came through it. Yeah, so I played Michael a few times, I think it was the players two years ago, on a proper stage, yeah. and I beat him. So for me, it was, it, yes, he's a great, obviously, great player, but I know I can beat him on a big stage, whether it's first to six or first to ten or whatever it was, I can do it. So the confidence was still there and I was practicing really well, so you go from there and see what happens on stage. What is the mindset now? Now that you've beaten somebody like a former world champion, Grand Slam champion, do you believe that you really can go all the way and lift this trophy, not just reach the quarter-final, but be the champion? I can't see why not. I mean, we said yesterday, look at Mike, Grand Prix, brilliant, played brilliant. He was the lowest one of the lowest ranked players and got and won it, picked up trophy, why can't any of us? We're all good players, so yeah, in my game, if I'm playing like I am, hopefully it's soon soon. And if you do go all the way tomorrow, it's going to be a long day, you play in the afternoon, then in the evening, it's going to be three matches, so do you prepare any different than now, from this moment until tomorrow morning? No, I'll literally just come here, as I would for the first game, and then see what happens from there, whether I need to chill out, or if I'm out, then I'm out, but if I'm playing the next one, just, just chill out for an hour and then back on the board again. Richard, huge well done. Thank you. Thank you very much.